Hey amigas, welcome back to another one of my videos. For those that don't know me, my name is Beverly and for those that are returning, thank you guys so much for joining me today. In today's video, I have lots of updates for you guys. Where have I been? Why haven't I not been on YouTube in four months? It's been a crazy roller coaster, but I want to start off by saying that it is okay to take a break. It is okay to take a break from social media. It is okay to take a break from what you're doing. It's always okay to take a break because this is your sign to do so if you are overworking yourself or have been overwhelmed or just have a lot going on in life. Life is life and even as a small business owner or even a content creator or whatnot, it is always okay to take a break because you don't want to ever be burnt out or lose inspiration and not have any creativity and I feel like that's just what's really been going on in my life. I no longer do Eco Solvent and I really quickly wanted to touch base on that and update you guys because there's been lots of crazy changes um i will say mostly for the good so why not let's go ahead and start there so we all know i had the epson eco tank 15,000 printer well the epson printer was doing just fine up until there was a time where i actually i believe filmed where i had a, a small flood in my craft room which is not this room that's another thing i will update you guys on that was actually in my other bedroom here so i got a small flood and i stopped printing for about a week you know whenever things happen your first thing on your mind is not your machines it's not your printers it's nothing so i pretty much disconnected it and let it sit and i did not print anything i did not do any nozzle checks or anything so that printer eventually ended up clogging really bad then i tried to salvage it um while i was on live one day and i got a kit and i did this cleaning and stuff it gradually got a little bit better after like 24 to 48 hours after i did a huge power cleaning and i really got in there and i you know took the little plugs out and everything and i just really tried cleaning it with syringes and that cleaning solution which it got really clean but i feel like i over cleaned it and i don't know if there's if that's possible but i feel like i cleaned it too good to where it was just hard to the magenta for it to kind of throw out more ink on the print head so I pretty much you know lost all hope because I kept trying after a while and then I found a really cool place here in my area for those I don't know I live in Tulsa Oklahoma and I did find a printer repair shop near me so I took my printer in they looked at it after about a month of it being there at their shop I got a call one day and they said come pick up your printer it's ready to go I got there and lo and behold they just gave me a replacement printer they got it through the warranty i'm not sure how that happened but thing is that i got a new printer so i was really happy about it so i came home and i reconverted it everything was fine after just that also i started to get more into dtf prints for those that don't know dtf transfers they are direct to film transfers that are a lot cooler and easier to work with because there is no cutting process it is all simply a process where you print on a dtf film and those colors literally come out so vibrant and so nice and it just prints out your image as is so if you have no background on your image it's just going to simply print your picture you can do distressed images you can do faded looking images it is just ink printed on a clear or frosted film which i have some right here that look a little something like this you can see it looks just like a frosted film this is the back to where they add an extra white coat of color therefore when you're applying it on your prints you can apply it onto any dark light garment as you choose and it comes out with something like this once you press this over to your garment you will just simply remove that plastic um, film and your actual ink that's on here just simply transfers over so there's no material in between other than really much the ink so it's a really smooth process this is obviously in my opinion a little bit better than sublimation when it comes to actual garments because again it's not picky as to if you're applying it on dark lights or any type of fabric so you're really open to using this on cotton 
any blends or even polyester or anything else in between so I really do like the DTF process now because of course I started getting more into DTF therefore I went ahead and just called it good with my printer the time that I had spent using my eco solvent printer was amazing I learned so much from it I taught so many courses from it as well and it was just something that I really did enjoy because it would definitely is and I will still say it is an upgrade from your regular light or dark t-shirt transfers or DIY fabric transfers whatever you want to call them it is definitely an upgrade from that but because of the fact that you still have to do a printing process a cutting process with your converted printers it definitely does eventually tend to wear you out because not only do you have to cut and print you also have to weed you also have to add a mask and transfer over and it just simply eventually gets a little bit pricey with the material and the time being spent doing those and DTF is just simply more of a print and transfer process and I know you still have to add your white adhesive coating powder on the back and then cure the prints but it definitely is to me such a more easier and smoother process and if you're outsourcing your dtf prints like if you find somebody locally it definitely is worth it in my eyes so if you are definitely wanting to upgrade again from eco solvent i will say definitely dtf is a great upgrade from that now that i filled you guys in a little bit about the prints and where my eco solvent printer has been going because i've been getting a lot of comments on you know a lot of my previous videos where i did film how to cut down the rolls how to convert it and then also how to make eco solvent prints from a converted printer i will go ahead and update you guys now that i am definitely in a different room i cannot wait to show you guys the official craft room tour of my new room it is still in the same place it's just in a different bedroom we outgrew our old craft room so here we are now in this new craft room and i'm looking at it and i can't believe it because this used to be my bedroom it is way bigger than my previous craft room and let me just tell you there's a lot more sunlight because i have two windows and i just am really enjoying the space that i have now and all of the new equipment that i've gathered that i want to show everything that i have and of course make new tutorials for you guys so you guys will have to stay tuned on that and now really just for my last update of it all there's no excuses but i really have been trying to enjoy my summer break like i mentioned in the beginning i really want to reiterate it is so important to take time off when you know you just need it there's no point in wearing yourself out to the point where you're no longer going to have motivation or you no longer want to do something because that is not good your content and what you do or whatever your job is just starts to fade away and that's obviously seen by your public now that's just one thing that i really wanted to do this summer is take more of a break because i have been working so hands-on and you guys know that if you guys have been following me along on my journey over on Instagram where I have been posting more than anything and over on my TikTok here and there I will say um, you guys know I was staying busy selling my UV DTF cup wraps and I will say they are still doing very good um, you know we're living and we're learning through some little mistakes here and there but other than that I will say it has really been a such a good journey seeing how you can create so many different designs and really you know put those onto a glass can it's just amazing there's no more layering involved it's just so much easier for people to use and if applying them to correctly and if practicing they really will stay on for a while so let me know what you guys think about the uv dtf wraps if you guys have tried them out doesn't have to be from my shop in general it can be from anywhere but leave it down in the comments below see if you like them because i want to be offering more um i know that for sure i want to be offering more soon in my shop i have you know so Sold a lot of wraps I will say um, I can't think of the number on top of my head but I have sold a lot different designs and I always am listening to all of your guys's requests when you guys are needing a new design to come in now it is a process because as we all know um, you have to find um, someone great for your wraps you have to test out materials there's a lot of time and effort put into those especially when you're looking for a vendor so I will say do your research you guys will eventually come across something that you guys want to do or sell 
but as you all know you guys have to put in the work for that as well because nothing is handed over to us it was never handed to me and as much as i love to help you guys i will say sometimes it's just best for you guys to do your own research because if something doesn't work out for you but it's working out for me it almost is like you know controversy there so that is the main reason why i tell you guys to do your research when it comes down to looking for vendors and things like that i want to also say that this month is my birthday month which is august i'm super excited because two things i am not a big fan of summer i will say i know it's hard to believe maybe you guys all love summer me personally i prefer fall spring and winter when it has to come and it's cold it is what it is i prefer those months more because it's not as hot you guys can see clearly i wear no makeup right now during the summer because it is so freaking hot and it can get hot in here as well sometimes when i'm working i'm really moving around and staying active it gets really busy so i cannot i cannot deal i get too impatient and i feel like nothing's coming out good and that is why i just prefer other seasons more than this one but since it is my birthday this month i wanted to just kind of do an update as well i'm taking a couple trips this month which i'm super excited about and it's gonna go up until september time i'm going to vacation in mexico and have a good time with my husband so i'm super excited for that that's coming up so i'm just wanting to update you guys on all the fun things that are coming and keep an eye out for my instagram tiktok and you know now here on youtube for more updates and tutorials and such and please let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments once again if you guys are interested in seeing something in particular that i can still do and i have access to i will definitely do so one last thing i wanted to update you guys with because this video is all about updates that's what i wanted to film for i will go ahead and tell you guys that um classes have been a very hot topic lately i'm currently not doing any classes right now i decided to take the summer off completely as much as i could to really just take a break and not be burnt out from that because you guys are so amazing and i will say i'm never ungrateful for these moments but as we all know we all reach that point where we're so tired sometimes and it's just like the same repetitive thing over and sometimes change is good so i was doing really good on classes a lot of you guys were taking classes for like how to set up your starcraft solo because i know that's a very hot topic on my end people come to me when it comes down to that machine because i i mean i really have had it since like i would say 2021 or beginning of 2022 i want to say i can't remember the exact date but i've had my machine for a while and ever since i've been having it i really have used the crap out of it and i really do love it so that class has been hot and then our eco solving class was super hot as well i still have notes that i would love to share with you guys if you guys are so interested in going through the eco solvent process don't think you guys can't reach out you guys can but i'm more than likely going to be limited on my responses when it comes down to eco solvent because there's a lot of things that have changed and evolved now and since i don't currently have a printer anymore that does the eco solvent printing i am very limited on what i can do and show you guys and help with as well so and i hope you guys find the previous videos that i've done on the eco solvent process very helpful and i will continue to do my best to help you guys well that is all i have for you guys today amigas amigos thank you guys also for supporting make sure if you guys are not following my channel to make sure to subscribe down below hit that post notification bell button and turn it on to be notified every time i upload a video and also go ahead and drop a like that helps me that way i can encourage myself to do more of these and again i apologize for being so far away from you guys and not really being as active here on youtube but i will do my best so i will catch you guys next time bye <laughs>